We journeyed 24 kilometers from Marsabi town to Kargi, cruising through rough terrain with no end in sight. <laughs> Grazing camels are the only sign of life in this desolate wilderness. Three hours later, we arrive at Kargi, a small town in Lojangalani sub-county in Marsabit County. In the outskirts of the town, a barren wasteland stretches to the horizon. Life is rough out here. Kilton Russo, a 67-year-old mother of four children, is crawling from Mamanyata to tell us her story. Russo was not born deformed. This is what happens when you are forced to rely on groundwater that was contaminated in the late 80s and early 90s. The sun is too hot for me. The water is salty. I have four children. I gave birth to the first two while I was healthy. The other two, I was in this condition. Being deserted by her husband came as a huge blow but that could not be the end of her suffering. Long ago, the environment was good. Initially, she could use a wheelchair, but even that became impossible as her condition worsened. <laughs> she says that money for the elderly is a foreign language here. Sea of reliance is the only way to survive. Russo crossed back to Amanyata, the only home she has known all these years. When nature calls, she has to relieve herself here. She is also bathed within these walls by her children who keep hoping for a better tomorrow, but chances are slim. We move to the next village where we find this elderly man sheltering under an acacia tree. Get only milk. Mm. Yeah. Mampesan de Balen is lost in deep thought, weighed down by a grim future. De Balen lost his wife to cancer three months ago. He is also battling esophageal cancer and can only speak with the aid of a voice box. <laughs> Nakatamamagatatu. <laughs> Debalen believes that his illness was brought about by the contaminated water. Since losing his wife, the father of four is constantly worried about his children's welfare who will be total orphans once he is gone. Locos here say that being diagnosed with cancer is akin to a death sentence since no one can afford health care. Dabalin shows us his NHIF card, which he says was issued by the county government of Marsabit, but when he visits the hospital, they turn him away saying that the card has no money. Dabalin hopes that help will come soon for the sake of his children. All these ones, the cancer, 
hizi nguo yao inaleta nani watu wa Manyata at Karki town our lead baraka buroya takes us the cemetery where he buried his mother not long ago baraka tells that more than 50% of the people buried here died of cancer na without any usaidisi ya county government any usaidisi ya hapa ni binadamu tu unatoa sisi tu tunatoa simiti yetu due to the hard surface of the ground within villages that makes digging of a grave an impossible chore bodies are buried here where heinous cannot exhume them akifikisha age of 52 years automatically mama anaenda baba anaenda mwingine blockage ya mkojo hiyo watu wengi ukiona mzee amekufa hiyo umri ikifika 70 awezi to ile mkojo anaekwa pipe baada ya pipe unaambua refer home hiyo home ndio tunajuanga we are planting them yes people are going daily daily eh hey, na hiyo watu wanapiga kura jamani karagi dispensary the only health facility in this region has been receiving cancer patients but lacks equipment to handle them the most common cancer around here is esophageal cancer where the patient will come complaining of difficulty in swallowing or maybe not even able to swallow at all cancer patients are referred to St. Teresa Mission Hospital in Kirua in Meru County more than 360 kilometers from Karigi for treatment and screening most of the cancer referrals that will fall here will fall here for several reasons one either for surgical intervention which is the department where i sit in secondly for investigations either to stage or to establish how far the disease has spread but what could be the cause of the cancer cases in kargi their reports show all exploration was carried out near chalbi desert between 1986 and 1990 which could be the cause of water contamination we need to understand what actually caused what is the connection basically between the exploration and the contamination especially around the drilling sites because these are all grazing sites they have not been closed off it rains and there is always runoff so without getting into issues which require specific scientific research there is that feeling that there is a connection between the exploration and the cancer cases that time there were no legal framework we didn't have the environmental management and coordination act which makes provision for the requirement of environment and social impact assessment to be undertaken before such a project will be undertaken locating the exploration site took us almost 3 hours after losing our journey several times when we finally reached the site it is to discover a huge pile of bentonite a substance that was being used during the drilling of oil by Amoko Kenya between 1986 and 1990 and was never disposed of properly this waste um they are some of them are radioactive uh, that means that um, they cause um diseases like cancer uh, some of them um have elements that are uh, can even damage the brain um uh, some of them affect the our hormone system the endocrine system leading to various diseases exposure to bentonite can cause serious damage of the central nervous system kidneys and immune system what is saline and with the presence of uh, substance like arsenic and nitrites uh, then i think the community need not really consume this because it's potentially carcinogenic we know the stomach has got a lot of uh, other types of acids so with nitrates and acids combined uh it becomes carcinogenic that means uh, it can actually cause cancer and uh, elsewhere such kind of uh, uh, reaction has been found to cause uh, the cancer of the stomach or the colon cancer and and the like According to a report by Greenpeace between 1988 and 1994 there were 94 attempted or actual cases of hazardous waste export to Africa involving over 10 million tons of residue from Europe targeting 16 African countries relying on parts of least resistance and weak governance structures
there was both dumping in the sea and also on land. Uh, so there has been a lot of problems, um, not just within that period of 1988 and 1994, uh, but the issue of waste dumping, uh, especially in developing countries like Kenya and uh, African countries. The substances ended up in remote areas in countries such as Equatorial Guinea, Lebanon, Somalia and the Congo. The site of exploration is a short distance from Chalbi Desert. Calore Springs, which is part of the desert, where thousands of flocks and people quench their thirst on a daily basis, could be contaminated, according to the residents. Residents of Karagui told K24 that they witnessed the dumping of toxic waste in this area. It took place the same time when the oil exploration by Amaco Petroleum was going on. Inakataa kupiga mae uko chini. Yo kemiko wana art ambaya wazungu alikuwa natuambia mufunge simu na hawa ndo wana operate. This could be the reason for contamination of groundwater in this area. From the year 2000, cancer cases have significantly multiplied in this region and in Kariki alone, more than 200 people have died. It has been growing. It has taken... Uh, very huge toll on the community, knowing that the population is uh, very low there. And then uh, the herdsmen who are actually involved in taking care of the animals in the field, the able-bodied people are the ones who are dying. Livestock has not been spared either. But the uh, Elino 95, uh, 2007, the Elianza Kuleta Shida Ikamaliza Mbuzi Elfumbili. Many animals died. Many animals. Uh, records are even showing about 7,000 in a day. The goats which were being watered there during the day just died. The only animal to learn a comba is survive in Punda Pekak. And by Makunya Maji, now he may survive. Nema Director General Mamo Mamo says that he has written to several ministries, including the Minister of Mining, Water and Health, seeking a multi agency intervention. I was in screening, you know, screening camp or medical camp for the local community just to establish. What is the cause of these uh, cancer cases that is being reported? The most affected areas are Dukana, Maikona, Karacha, Northhor, all of them in the northern part of the desert. Residents of Marisabit petitioned the High Court through Kituocha Sharia to compel the government to intervene quickly and avert any further spread of the cancer scourge that has claimed so many lives thus far. But... As the wheels of justice continue to greed at a slow pace, despair and suffering will keep haunting residents of Kargi. Until then, who will come to their rescue? Dan Kaburu, K24, the voice of nature in Marisabet County. Mm -hmm.